I was interviewed on a panel. We were supposed to get there that people being interviewed for the thing, four of us, were supposed to get there at noon. And they had a Bloody Mary and mimosa bar, so they're like, come, you know, at 11, 11.30, so I get there and I go to the Bloody Mary bar and make an entire Bloody Mary with this like huge stock of celery. <laughs> and then we all sit down and everybody is drinking a bottle of water and they're all dudes and I have like this huge Bloody Mary with this <laughs> gigantic <laughs> foot tall stock of celery that the, the camera guy the whole time is like, move it. Like it was like <laughs> right up here, I'm trying to like talk. Anyway, good times. <laughs> My name is Joy Mickinson. I'm the director of social media and public relations for Stolen. I really do all things digital because we're a very small, nimble company. We're at the Burlington Bar doing some cocktails for Stolen Spirits. The rum is rum that's aged in bourbon barrels for two years, which is unlike any other rum in the entire world. They're all unique and they have their own little unconventional spin to them. As you can see, this thing is already starting to look like wildfire. The whiskey has a proprietary smoking process. We really like smoking things, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> At the end of it, that makes it different than any other American whiskey. If you tip 20%, you order that, I'm going to come to you every time. We argue about what words we use all the time, but we're a very edgy, fringe, indie brand. We're getting a lot of musicians, artists, chefs, but have their own followings to convince them to genuinely like Stolen and pretty much post whatever they want to with our products to their own social media channels. I happen to be a big music fan. My husband is a pedal steel player, so a lot of who we're working with tends to be the new outlaw country scene out of Nashville and Austin. Nikki Lane, she's one of the few women in that scene. owns a vintage store in Nashville called High Class Hillbilly that is awesome. I call it in fashion, I call it a poison eye. So when a fashion changes, like for over 10 years now, skinny jeans have been, like people have gotten used to them and now that wide leg yeah. pants are coming back. It takes, you know, sometimes a year or two for your eye to get used to it not being completely right. jarring. Right. So I think that we're right at that level with people wearing sneakers and athletic gear but you know mixing it up as an actual outfit where it doesn't look weird anymore it just looks like of the time. So I collect vintage dresses. I have literally hundreds of them at this point. Starting in August I do a hundred days of dresses not out of any kind of vanity or wanting to post a picture of myself online every day because sometimes that really sucks but more it got to the point where I could seriously wear a ball gown to work and no one would blink an eye because they're so used to seeing me wear ridiculous dresses of all kinds. I also have a personal rule, I don't ever buy anything new, I only buy used. I haven't worn jeans in over eight years. I do own a pair of overalls that I use for walking my dogs. You have to be entrepreneurial. Anyone who calls themselves a social media expert or my pet peeve guru, oh, hate it when people say that. It hasn't even been around long enough. It's changing every single day. Nobody really knows where it's going. That's the exciting, fun part about it. That's why you have to be willing to experiment. Um, and you have to be willing to be creative, but also train the analytic side of yourself so you can understand what is working and what isn't. You know, we did a, a big event at South by Southwest this year and we like to do unofficial events, steal after parties or pre-parties as opposed to having a tasting booth somewhere. You think women are people? Come on, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is the <laughs> mentality in advertising a lot of the time. People always say that women are just as good at business as men are, which of course is true. However, that doesn't mean you have to do it the exact same way that men do. I think that you can still have just as much of effect in business while maintaining your own personality. And it's important to me to not be that kind of person. My parents met studying French in Canada because they were preparing to go to Senegal, West Africa as um, missionaries. 
So I was two years old when we moved to Senegal, and I was 17 when we moved to Texas and ended up going to college there. And then I moved to Chicago as soon as possible. <laughs> I mean, the winters suck in Chicago. Everyone knows that. But summers and falls in Chicago, I think Chicago is the best city in the entire world. I, mean, I always tell people if the weather was like it is now, we wouldn't be able to afford to live here. <laughs> so the fact that you have to hole up for, for five months out of the year, I mean, my advice on that is find a really good bar, drink a lot, you get fat, then you have to go on a diet every spring. But, you know, you just drink a lot and you make friends and you play board games and it's, you can really get... I love Skull Mugs. Yeah, it's cool. and Chewbacca as a tiki mug is the best. It's my favorite. <laughs>